everyone, it's Beth from Sweet Tarts Hair and I'm here today with the lovely Harriet. I have used her before, but quite a long time ago. So today we're going to be showing you this really, really cool braid. It's called the Line Braid. I've seen a few people do it um, on YouTube and Instagram. It looks really, really nice. So hopefully I'm going to be able to explain it to you and you'll be able to have a go as well. Okay guys, so I've started off by just dividing Harriet's hair into two. And next, I'm going to divide the hair again. So I'm going to start right in the corner. And I'm just going to bring that down with maybe like an inch and a half from the centre part all the way down. I'm going to leave a little bit of hair down just at the side there. And then I'm going to just clip this hair out of my way. And then Harriet's just got a little bit of static to her hair, guys, so you know what I'm going to use. I use it all the time. I'm going to use the Sexy Hair Play Dirty Dry Wax Spray. A little bit of a mist. You don't need much, and that's just going to really cut down on all that static. Okay, so I am going to be asking Harriet to hold the strands for me as we go. So what I want you to do, guys, is take a small section of hair like that, and you're going to break it into three sections. So you've got three sections of hair. So we'll sort of go one, two, and three, okay? So number three is gonna get passed over the middle one. And now number one is gonna get passed over the middle one. A Little bit like a French braid at the minute, but it's all gonna change. So just follow along, don't try and do it straight away, and then you'll see a really nice pattern forming, okay? So we're gonna go again, but this time, number three, the one on the outside, is gonna go over the top of the middle one and it's going to go underneath number one like that all the way to that side and I'm just going to ask Harriet if she could just hold that section like that. Next you're going to get a little piece of hair, really small guys, you don't want to go too big with these pieces okay. So I've got three sections again now okay, so I'm going to take number one I'm going to pass it over and I'm going to pass it under, okay? Next, you're going to take this middle section, you're going to pass it underneath number one here, so it goes underneath like that, and we're going to swap these sections, okay? So the one that Harriet's holding and the one that's now my number one, we're going to swap them over. And the way we're going to do that is Harriet's section is going to come underneath and get joined into this one here. And I'm going to ask Harriet to hold that section for me again, like that. So we've just done one very confusing stitch, guys, but I promise you, bear with me because it does become easier to understand, okay? So we're going to go again. I'm going to take a really small section of hair. I've got my three stitches again, okay? So this is my number one. It's going to go over. It's going to go under, okay? This middle one now is going to come underneath my number one. It's going to swap over with Harriet's one. So the one that Harriet was holding goes underneath, gets joined into that one there, and then Harriet holds that one for me. Now at the minute, you can't really see what's happening, but trust me, when the line part of the braid gets thicker, you'll get why it's called a line braid, okay? So, we need our three sections back, so you need to take a really small section of hair, smooth it out, okay, it goes over, it goes under, there's a really annoying fly going around guys and I'm going to kill it in a minute, it's driving <laughs> me mad. Okay, so now this middle one here has to come underneath, it's going to get swapped with Harriet's one, so Harriet's one comes under gets joined to that one, and I pass Harriet the new section. So I'll go again for you guys, taking a really small slice of hair. It goes over, under. This one now goes underneath, swaps with Harriet's one, pass that back to Harriet, and go again. Okay guys, so I just want you to carry on for me now, taking those little sections, you'll see the line begin to form as you go.
going to release that hair down guys. I'm going to give it another little spray. So we're going to be doing the same on this side guys but I'm going to show you rather than just kind of fast forwarding through it because sometimes I know when I followed a tutorial it can confuse you when you swap sides so you just want to make sure that you know what strands are going where okay so again you're going to be going right from the very corner here okay guys so again you're going to just take that little slice of hair it takes a little bit for the braid to get going remember dividing that hair into three okay so now it's one, two, three. So number three is always the one that's the furthest away from the parting. So number three goes over the middle. Now number one goes over the middle. And now number three goes over the middle and it goes under number one. And I just asked Harriet to hold that section for me. So we're going to take a slice of hair, make sure they're nice and thin to begin with guys, okay? And that slice of hair is going to go over and under. And then that middle section, remember, goes under number one and it swaps places with Harriet's one. So Harriet's one comes underneath, gets added into that middle one and then I ask Harriet to hold that section again and that's the sort of stitch completed okay it's quite a few steps to the stitch on this braid but it is just repetitive so slice of hair I'll show you one more time guys so I've got my three sections number one goes over the middle number three goes over the middle then number three goes underneath that section and get swapped over. Add it in like that, hold that section, and that's your stitch complete. This one here is always like your line and it just keeps getting hair added into. Okay guys, totally optional, everybody that's been watching me for a while knows what I'm going to do. I'm going to cover my elastic, loads of different ways to do this, you can use a topsy tail, you can use grips, I always kind of just go for the elastic. So I just wrap it around a couple of times, like that, pinch it round the back there, so I've sort of pinched the little piece of hair is being held at the back of the pony. Take another elastic, I already put it on like my finger and thumbs like that and then I pinch that piece of hair again so I kind of swap hands. So I'm holding that little piece of hair around the back and then just pop the elastic on, wiggle it and you're done. Same on the other side for me. And then again, optional, use a bit of hairspray or clay spray. And I'm just going to give these ponies a bit of a back comb just to give a bit more sort of fullness to them. So whenever you back comb, use your spray and try not to back comb too much on the top section of hair. And then you just kind of get your comb or brush and just brush over that back comb so you can't kind of see it. Okay guys, so that's the style finished. I'm gonna do a little spin for you as always. So thanks for watching guys. Please put in the comments whether you're gonna have a go at this braid and I'll see you next week for another video. Bye.